Hello and welcome to the Big Data Testing Tutorials. This tutorial is ideal for software testers and anyone else who wants to understand big data testing but is completely new to the field. Software testers new to the field often ask questions like, what is big data, how to test big data applications, what are the steps or processes to test big data applications, etc. We answer all this and more in our big data testing tutorial below. As per Gartner, big data is high-volume, high-velocity and or high-variety information assets that demand cost-effective, innovative forms of information processing that enable enhanced insight, decision-making, and process automation. A survey of Deloitte, technology reveals 62% of companies use huge data for assists in business. Big data means a large volume of data. For instance, Facebook generates 4 petabytes of data every day with 1.9 billion active users. And here is the landscape of big data. Just read the interesting data and see the impact. This infographic makes an effort to compare two big, interrelated but different technologies. Big data deals with structured and unstructured data whereas cloud's three famous components are software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Again, another graph about big data which reveals that 80% of world data is unstructured. The huge collected big data can be of three formats one. Structured data, highly organized data that can be retrieved using simple queries. Examples, database, data warehouse ER and CRM. 2. Unstructured data, it does not have any predefined format and it is difficult to store and retrieve such data. For examples images, videos, Word documents. Last we have semi-structured data the type of data which are no rigidly organized and contain tags and metadata. Examples, XML, CSV and JSON. Big data testing is defined as testing of big data applications. Big data is a collection of large datasets that cannot be processed using traditional computing techniques. Testing of these datasets involves various tools, techniques, and frameworks to process. Big data relates to data creation, storage, retrieval and analysis that is remarkable in terms of volume, variety, and velocity. There are five primary characteristics of big data, these are, volume, velocity, variety, veracity and value. Here are the key differences between the testing of structured and unstructured data. 1. Structured data can be processed and analyzed with relational databases and spreadsheets whereas not possible in case of unstructured data. 2. Testers typically use commonly used tools like manual sampling or automated verification whereas in case of unstructured data, that doesn't suffice quality requirements. 3. Unstructured data size may require specialized infrastructure and file systems. That's the pictorial representation of the four verses we have just learned. Now let's look at the need of big data. Today, the competition between different brands has become so stiff that every brand is trying its best to acquire a bigger share of customers. Hence, both conventional and digital marketing tools are not enough to gain an edge over the competitors, and that's why, it has become critical for businesses to deliver personalized services to its customers for retaining them. Big data, helps in analyzing the customer behavior and also enables the businesses to understand the market trends. Below is the list of following needs and challenges which makes it vital for big data applications to run their tests smoothly. First, for the business to have a considerable amount of clean and reliable data, the data should be integrated from multiple sources. Secondly, data should be collected and deployed simultaneously to push the business's capabilities to adopt instant data collection solutions. And third, we also have real-time scalability challenges. There are four factors of big data which define the testing requirements in big data, batch processing. 
Interactive processing, real-time processing, quality of data received. Let's take a deep dive into the seven testing approaches to validate big data. First is migration testing. A number of banks are shifting data from traditional data warehouses to big data stores to save on license costs and benefit from big data technology. In the case of migration testing, data from the source is compared with the target to ensure that all records are moved. Data quality and visualization testing are also performed on the target database. End-to-end -end testing is very important for any system. Number 1 Data ingestion testing – Data from various external sources, like social media, web logs, RDBMS, are validated for transformation, format changes, masking. Number 2 Data processing testing – Data quality analysis is the second test step to be followed to ensure data integrity and to validate business rules. Number 3 Data mining testing Number 4 Data visualization testing including reports and visualization testing. Test Strategy 3 – Reports Testing In this kind of testing, reports which get data from data warehouses are modified to get data from big data stores. Two validations are performed, comparison of data getting displayed in reports versus data available in big data stores. Fourth testing approach is data archival testing. This kind of testing is seen in rare and predominantly big data stores used for storing data for audit and compliance purposes. The data is not processed and is stored, as is to ensure that it can be retrieved easily. The validation approach involves source to target comparison. Number 5 approach is failover testing. Failover testing is done to verify seamless processing of data in case of failure of data nodes. It validates the recovery process and the processing of data when switched to other data nodes. Two types of metrics are observed during this testing i.e. recovery time objective recovery point objective. One of the most critical functional testing is performed in three stages. First stage is also referred as pre-Hadoop stage. Data validation, source data comparison and verification of extracted data is done in this stage. The second step is a validation of MapReduce. In this stage, the tester verifies the business logic validation on multiple nodes. In the final stage of big data testing, transformation rules, data integrity and data corruption checks are applied on the output data files. Performance testing does the testing of job completion time, memory utilization and data throughput of the big data system. 1. Obtain the metrics of performance of big data systems. 2. Determine conditions which cause performance issues. 3. Verification of speed of MapReduce processing. 4. Verification of storage of data at different nodes. 5. Test JVM parameters. 6. Test the values for connection timeout, query timeout. Like any other testing, big data testing also has its own important challenges. 1. Since the big data involves large data sets, it requires automation testing so dependency that mean functional testers needs to scale up their skills to do big data testing. 2. Needs higher technical expertise to deal with big data. 3. Complexity and integration problems as big data is collected from various sources. And finally cost challenges are there for a consistent development, integration and testing. Some of the roles and responsibilities of tester include 1. The tester's knowledge of Hadoop, HDFS, Hive, PIG, unstructured data and semi-structured data. 2. Ability to work with changing schema. 3. Work with the development and business users to understand the data. 4. Extraction from huge data set. 5. Providing adequate test coverage while maintaining high test productivity. Testing a big data application requires significant technical skills and the good news is there is a huge demand too. There are a lot of benefits of big data testing. It helps in data-driven decision-making processes. Analysis of huge unstructured data brings data accuracy. It creates a better strategy and enhance market goals. It minimizes losses and increases revenues. Quality cost, it has a high return on investment ROI. There are a number of tools and platforms which are used for big data testing. 
There are plenty in NoSQL database including CouchDB, databases MongoDB, Cassandra, Redis, Zookeeper and HBase then as part of MapReduce, we have Hadoop, Hive, Pig, Cascading, Uzi, Kafka, S4, MAPR, Flume. In storage we have S3, HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System. Servers, Elastic, Heroku, Elastic, Google App Engine, EC2. For processing we can use R, Yahoo Pipes, Mechanical Turk, Big Sheets, Datamir and Talent. There are quite a few big data testing best practices to follow which are not much different from testing other applications. Testing based on requirements. Prioritize the fixing of bugs. Stay connected with the context. To save time, automate it. Test objectives should be clear. So that's the last part of big data testing. Here are a couple of afterthoughts. Big data processing is a very promising field in today's complex business environment. Applying the right dose of test strategies, and following best practices would help ensure qualitative software testing. So that's the last part of big data testing. Here are a couple of afterthoughts. Big data processing is a very promising field in today's complex business environment. Applying the right dose of test strategies, and following best practices would help ensure qualitative software testing.